I finally got access to Sora and I've honestly never been this conflicted about an AI update. I think it's the most incredible update I've ever tested out, especially with my background and I'll explain why. And at the same time, it might be the worst thing that's happened to AI and I'll get into that in this video. Now, let me catch you up here. So Sora is an app that was released by OpenAI. The creators of ChatGPT is the number one in the app store right now and is completely free to use. As I'm recording this though, it is invite only. So you do have to have an invite code in order to be able to use the app. So if anyone has an invite code and they wanna share it, you could put it as a comment. And it's really, really easy to create videos here. I'm gonna show you a ton of examples in a second. And the crazy part, by the way, is this is a social media feed. So it's basically like TikTok or Instagram where you have videos. The only thing is everything I'm showing you here, this is all AI generated. There's nothing real that is on this app. Every single video is AI generated. So I'll get into how you create videos and things like that in a little bit right now. Let me show you some of these examples that completely blew my mind. And my background in the past 15 years was in video production, especially high-end commercial video production. So what I'm about to show you, some of these were six or sometimes even seven figure projects. It doesn't burn a drop of fuel, yet it burns brighter than ever. Engineered for silence, built for speed, designed for the world ahead. A thousand torques, zero excuses. A phone that turns every moment into a motion picture that sees more in more places than ever before. Forged in titanium, powered by light, built for freedom. <laughs> Find your beach. What if learning was as easy as putting on a sticker? Meet Skill Leap, the wearable microchip that gives you instant knowledge. Play like a pro, code like a veteran, cook like a chef without a single class. Now, from Sora 1 to Sora 2, it is an unbelievable leap. And you could see you could create vertical videos, you could create horizontal videos. And right now they could be anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. Now let me jump in the app because I wanna show you the part I actually don't like. So if you press the plus sign here, you could describe any video. And pretty much all the videos I showed you so far were created with a very simple text prompt, like make me an iPhone commercial or a Tesla commercial. And you could upload an existing photo as long as it doesn't have a person in it and turn that into a video. But here's the part that I'm conflicted about. Right here, you see where it says Cameo? So you could give this app permission and actually make videos with other people and it will use their AI avatar or clone to create a video here. It is a great video model, but the social media app was a big mistake. So you see the problem here? People are literally giving other people permission to deep fake them. This is a deep fake social media platform at its very core. On the back end, you have Sora 2, the most unbelievable video model that I've ever tested out, wherein one prompt could make me six-figure commercials that look 90% there already with Sora 2. But on the other hand, it's a TikTok competitor with deep fakes. And the problem is more and more people, I think, are going to give the app permission to allow them to be used. They're called cameos here, not deep fakes, but... I mean, that's what it is, right? At the very core, it's just gonna be a bunch of AI slop, but it's gonna go viral because people like to see these type of videos. I mean, it's very obvious. It went up to the number one app in the app store in the invite only stage of the app, right? And they obviously are gonna know how to make this go viral on the back of the other apps they have. The company that created this whole AI revolution with the release of ChatGPT went this way. And this is why it really conflicted me. One of my cousins emailed me just today saying, hey, I finally got AI. Have you tried Sora yet? Well, three years of ChatGPT, and this is the first time they've had exposure to AI because it got released as a social media app. Now that's fine, except now they're gonna think AI is some kind of a social media app, right? Instead of this practical tool across hundreds of applications, that are insanely practical for productivity, scaling companies, all kinds of different things I've covered here, right? But if the exposure is Sora, the social media platform, where you just watch AI slop and just scroll infinitely, right? Taking the whole thing that made TikTok viral into an app that clones you and your friends, obviously it's gonna be a problem. And 
obviously it's going to take off very rapidly. Okay, let me jump into the Sora website here and I'll show you what I think is the best part of Sora, which is this video model. So down here, you will, with your text prompt, type in exactly what you want. If you want to use the cameo option, all you have to do is select someone or you could select yourself if you want yourself to be in the video, or you could just type in a prompt without having any of these cameo options and it will generate the video, all the examples I showed you. And they have the model Sora 2, that's the one on the mobile app. Now this Sora 2 Pro, I only have access to it in my ChatGPT Pro account. So this does require the more expensive paid upgrade, the free version. I don't think they're gonna roll this out yet into that, but as of right now, you should have Sora 2, which is really good. And then with Sora 2 selected, you have some options here. So duration, you could do 10 or 15 seconds and you could change from portrait to landscape here. And you could do this on the mobile phone too. On the mobile app, it has this option too. The Sora Pro option has one more setting, which allows you to actually change this to high resolution, which gives you a 4K uprest here. The standard one is actually 720p HD that you will get with this one. Now I'm gonna use a super complicated prompt here. Now with the prompt length, you could actually type in a lot of text. I wouldn't do that. The simpler prompt actually gave me much better results, but I wanna try it with one that has a lot of little details so I could see how it turns out. And I'll change this to landscape mode here in 10 seconds. I'll send this out. My sweetheart, so come you here. Both. Welcome back, Mom. Good to be back. Now, I tried this seven different times and none of them really turned out great and they were highly compressed. So I would not make super complicated prompts just yet. I'll keep my prompts simple. On the social feed too, you could always click on anyone's post here and you can remix their post right here. So it lets you describe any changes and it'll start this one as the initial video here and then it'll give you a new one that you could post on your account. And on your own profile here, typical social media profile, you could have followings, you could follow people under each post here. You could go ahead and like things, you could reply and comment to things, remix them, and things are downloadable. Right now with the watermark, which I think is good, especially with this whole deep fake thing, people giving Cameo permissions. Now the Cameo, I'll show you the setting for that so you see what you can do with it. Okay, on the mobile app here, if you do edit your Cameo, you can change the settings. So you could change it obviously to be private and only me, or you could open it up if you don't care about that and set it up for everyone here. And you have a couple other settings over here that you could change. And if you wanna find other people, there is a search tab. So if you know their profile name, you could go ahead and search for their profile name, which is the name you'll see over here. And then you could follow them that way. And I do plan on posting educational content on here only because again, something I did on TikTok back in the day. And I think even though this is gonna be full of slop, I'll do my best to make it at least somewhat helpful and educational, just like all my other social channels. So that's my take on Sora 2. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think the social angle is a good idea or a terrible idea? Let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next video.